According to a new international study, the number of premature deaths from malaria in India may be over 200,000 each year, a figure which is many times higher than current estimates from national data and the World Health Organization or WHO. The study on adult and adult mortality from malaria in India was undertaken by an international team as part of the Indian Million Death Study and was published in The Lancet, a prestigious British journal. Malaria is easily and cheaply curable and therefore patients that are properly diagnosed rarely die. Since most malaria mortality surveys are based on data from diagnosed patients, they report a misleadingly low number of deaths. In rural India, most deaths occur at home. Most malaria deaths occur among people in rural areas who have a sudden severe fever that is never medically diagnosed as malaria and is therefore never properly treated. The Registrar General of India conducted the first ever nationwide study that reviewed all causes of death in India by surveying directly from households all over the country. About 800 field workers interviewed family members of people who had died between 2001 and 2003 and asked them to describe the symptoms and circumstances related to the deaths. Specific questions were asked about the presence of any fever preceding the death. At least two of 130 specially trained physicians then independently determined the probable underlying cause of death. The data showed that 3.6% of the deaths caused between ages 1 month to 70 years were from malaria. The total number of malaria deaths was determined by taking the percentage of malaria attributed deaths from this study and applying it to the annual number of deaths from any cause for all of India from national statistics. Of the total deaths that are reported in this paper, 90% deaths occur in rural areas and 86% deaths occur at home. Overall, malaria was found to cause 205,000 premature deaths each year in India. The study raises several issues. First, the figure of over 200,000 annual malaria deaths in India is many times higher than the current WHO estimate of 15,000 deaths each year. Second, half of the malaria attributed deaths were located in only a few high malaria states in eastern India. Urissa had more malaria deaths than any other state with over 50,000 deaths each year. In the absence of other diseases, Indians have a 1.8% chance of dying before age 70 from malaria. But in Urissa, that risk is over 12 percent. Our uh, Kyunzar district is malaria prone because of its geography. That is, it is surrounded by deep forests, rivers, rivulets. However, government of India and our state government has provided the second line of drugs. With this, we are working. The other high malaria states were Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and Assam. These are also the states where the Indian Malaria Control Program finds a high prevalence of the most dangerous type of malaria parasite. Third, malaria not only killed about 55,000 children below age 5, but also killed 30,000 between the ages of 5 to 14 years and 120,000 adults. Finally, the WHO currently estimates a worldwide total of 100,000 adult deaths due to malaria, which is less than the number of adult deaths this study found for India alone. The researchers strongly recommend the urgent revision of these figures as it appears that these estimates of malaria deaths in India and globally are serious underestimates. According to the authors, this could substantially change disease control strategies, particularly in the rural areas with high malaria burden. The study suggests the need for more rapid access to life-saving malaria drugs such as the artemisinin combination therapies. Unlike AIDS or cancer, malaria is not only treatable but it is curable if treated promptly. 
The study suggests that malaria prevention and treatment be used much more widely in rural India to save lives.